Hey everyone, this is Fantastic World, and I welcome you back to Lovecraft Country, my continuing series on games that are based on the principles of cosmic horror created by H.P. Lovecraft and his contemporaries. And today is a special one, because we'll be dealing with The Secret World Legends, which is a remake of a original Lovecrafty MMO called The Secret World. Now, what's interesting is that most cosmic horror stories revolve around the idea that there are the central tenant of these ancient beings that are just slumbering either under the earth or in another parallel world that once they waken will systematically destroy humanity and rise up their minions and bring ruin and damnation to all and the hero's primary job is to prevent them from doing so but this particular game is interesting in that it deals with the day the heroes fail it the Relay is rising, the Ancient Ones are slumbering, the minions are rising, and in desperation, Gaia, the world spirit, mass empowers hundreds of individuals with a, with a spirit in the shape of a bee to give them great potential power and connect them to her hive mind called the buzzing, and it tells them to fight off the incursion. Now, you play one of those mass empowered individuals, and as this is MMO, there are others as well. So, but what's interesting about this one is that it tends to resemble more a single player narrative driven a la Bioware and has incredible levels of details and writing. Now, I had been considering doing this for online because it, and you know, it'd been hovering in limbo after three acts had been, had been done and I wasn't quite sure if it was gonna be online, but then suddenly they added a fourth act and they're adding more versatility to the, uh, to the core gameplay and I'm finding that awesome and in my own way of trying to help them I'm going to try to spread the word by showing just how interesting the game is so if you will join me let us proceed to the beginning of the end of the world in Secret World Legends one of the more interesting things that happened between the making remaking the Secret World into Secret World Legends is they removed a couple of cutscenes in the beginning which I thought was an odd choice so I'm going to reinsert them back into the uh, game and uh, see what you think about them. Now, when this does occur, you will see this symbol and you will see me probably being replaced by a redhead in a hoodie. Um, that's because I'll be using earlier footage from another uh, YouTuber who's, uh, who I will post down in the description from the source. I tried to get in contact with him, but he hasn't had contact in his account for two years. So if you're still out there on Niggler, so the first decision you have to make when making a character is which particular faction you're going to belong to. These are the three magical factions, the conspiracies, that are working roughly together to try to prevent the end of the world. Now, there's three different choices. If you're the old school hero save the world, you choose the Templars. If you're the sort of person who just likes to do things kind of crazy, the dragon's for you, but... I, on the other hand, am drawn to Illuminati for its, shall we say, pragmatic views. Allow me to demonstrate. It's all about power. Grabbing it, keeping it, using it. Power is our currency. Our DNA, our god. We control the world. We provide the blueprint and we give the instructions. We're the people in grainy photos on grassy knolls. We're the shadowy faces in smoky back rooms and darkened boardrooms. We're right here, hiding in plain sight, buying and selling favors. Blackmail, treason, deceit, these are our stock in trade. We work the magic of the drunken evenings with senators and chiefs of staff. We shake down demons and negotiate with sorcerers. We have stocks and hell and compromising photos of angels. We use any means necessary, regardless of the cost, because the world is a bad place, and you can either do or get done. We're the Illuminati, and we're not done. And so we move into character creation. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to create a character that matches this apartment, which is obviously going to be a hipster who can't pay their cable bill. But I'm gonna to try to let a little bit of me come out as well. So, shall we begin? And to character creation. 
I'm going to go a little larger than usual. Like I said, I'm thinking a bit hipster. This will do. Mm. Yeah, that's nice eyebrows. Eye color. Yeah. That looks pretentious. Come on. That'll do. A hair color in their hand. Need to reflect the uh, aesthetic. Mm. Clothing? Accessory. There we go. I'm. Let's see. There we go. Nice uh, designer jacket, a biker's jacket for a person who probably doesn't drive any more than a 10 speed. Matching tracksuit pants for the individual who does probably never done more than a light jog. And that's just to get their latte. And of course, almost matching shoes for that ironic look. Now, here's another change I don't particularly like, is that you used to be able to select your starting weapon, but now you got to check a class which assigns it to you. And I'm going with the Assassin, because it's a pretty basic get-you-started kind of thing. You've got a Blade, which is a single attack or a 360 attack to prevent being swarmed, an Elemental Focus, which essentially is Fire, Lightning, and Ice, which gives you a wide variety of, of inner damage types and single or multiple targets. Now... Of course, to truly match his persona, let's give him an appropriate name, and this will be me. And yeah, let's go back to the hipster drags here. And now at this point, because I want people to get a good feel for the uh, story, I'm going to stay quiet during the cutscenes. And I'll be, of course, splicing in one over the first tutorial, as I stated before. So, shall we begin? Major developments in Tokyo, where the military is maintaining a heavily guarded perimeter around the site of last month's terrorist attack. The Japanese government has stated that an unidentified radical biological agent in the Tokyo subway, just than one half. Although the area has been evacuated, there have been eyewitness reports of activity at the site of the breach, including ongoing fighting between Orochi security personnel and armed civilians. Authorities are denying these reports, and the military has barred anyone from approaching within 100 meters of the temporary perimeter. You will see. the dawning of a new age. To be a monarch or a beggar, to lose everything or to become a god, to stand with us or against us, the choice is yours. Remember this. Be mindful of the voices. Listen to the voices they that will whisper, whisper in your sleep. sleep. You are with the chosen, you are with but the chosen, you must choose for but you yourself. you must make the right choices. You are cursed with free you will. You are cursed with free will. We are here to guide you to the light. It's not my place to intervene, but then this, Even if this is, is merely a dream. dream. Make, the right, Make the right choices and be mindful of the voices that whisper. They corrupt. For they speak the truth. Remember this.
And we're back. I'm going to be doing a lot of unconsciousness in the next couple of episodes. Now we seem to have got this whole fire bending thing down. Yeah, somebody thinks they're awesome. Don't even check your door, man. Somebody's been bad. I approve. Mind if I come in? Amway is so pushy. Time is ticking, so I'll cut straight to the chase. I work in talent acquisition, specializing in a highly unconventional sector for a very particular client. And they're particularly interested in your kind of talent. Fucking stuff up. Putting it back together, altering the fabric of space and time, basic thaumaturgy. My client is only interested in the best of the best. That's where I come in. Your talent is raw, but it's uh, obvious. My client has the means to refine that talent and make the most of what you've got, and I'm not talking about money. Well, not just no. money. Protection. You pay attention power. at certain points, the you can see that his eyes glow. Is. Which is well, my guess, he's also empowered. Somebody like us, with the big boys who girls, moved to up into world. management. It's up to you to grab that opportunity by the balls. Based on what I've seen so far, you might be what I'm looking for, or you might end up dead. Time will tell. Tick, tock. You have an appointment tomorrow in Brooklyn that I'd uh, recommend you keep. There's no address. Consider this the commencement of your official interview. Find us, or we'll find you. My client has uh, eyes everywhere. Don't be stupid. Later, Gator. Um, sure. Welcome to New York. Where the pavement hasn't seen much tension lately. Brooklyn. You will see the dawning of a new age. To be a monarch or a beggar. To lose everything or to become a god. To stand with us or against us. The choice is yours. <laughs> <laughs> 